Well, the Disability Royal Commission into Violence, Abuse and Neglect and Discrimination of People with Disability was a key moment in our nation's history. The Royal Commission received evidence from almost 10,000 people over four and a half years. It was a momentous piece of work. What was uncovered throughout the Royal Commission was confronting, shocking and often incredibly disturbing. Circumstances of appalling experiences of abuse and neglect and discrimination against people with disability were revealed that have absolutely no place in our country and quite frankly anywhere. The Australian Government accepts or accepts in principle 130 of the 172 recommendations that the Commonwealth has sole or joint responsibility with. We are making significant new financial investments, but we're also committing to policy and legislative reform. This builds on the already $3 billion extra our Government has invested over the last three budgets to make Australia safer and more inclusive for people with disability. The investment we've already made has been significant and I look just at the disability employment service uh, program that we announced in the budget. Over $200 million more to make uh, disability employment services better, better quality, better responsive to people with disability, actually meeting their needs and directly responding to one of the recommendations in the Royal Commission to remove the artificial restriction of zero to eight hours uh, for people with disability. There is mixed views in the disability community about whether they would prefer a Disability Rights Act or for disability to be embedded in a Human Rights Act. One of the things that we want to get on with though, as government works through those issues, is to modernise the Disability Discrimination Act. So one of the actions we're announcing today is work to modernise the Disability Discrimination Act. It's been 15 years since any substantive work has been done on modernising that, that act. So that is work that we'll undertake immediately while we do the sequencing work on uh, a Human Rights Act versus a Disability Rights Act. The Royal Commission also said that it should phase out group homes in 11 years' time. So without being definitive about the future of group homes, what we are doing is we want to make sure that the money which is given to people in support of independent living focuses on quality outcomes for them. And that's where we think the most productive use of our energy can be, giving people options where they have a meaningful social interaction where they are pro being provided services which are quality and safe.